and welcome to Eat the Photo Repeat. And on the day that Wales play Australia at the Principality in Egg Chasing, where would you be? Where would we be? I would rather be in Caldicott freezing, absolutely freezing. Although we've been watching the JD Welsh Cup second round match between Caldicott Town and Kumaman, and it's been a cracker. It's really warmed my cockles, Alex, quite frankly. Blood and thunder, I think you described <laughs> Blood it as. Thunder, yes, indeed. Two red cards, proper, two goals. Great cup tie. Proper cup Welsh, time. proper Welsh cup tie. More on that later on in the in the programme. But first, the women's senior team for Wales. Now they're taking a bit of a break at the moment. There's still plenty going on at age grade level as well. Uh, the under 17s, they're waiting to find out who they draw in the elite round of the UEFA Championship that takes place this weekend. Yeah, it certainly does. Only the third time they've ever got to this stage, so really good work from the under 17s. And we caught up with assistant national team manager Rianne Skinner. It was, it was a great experience for them because actually they turned up at the tournament really ready to go against Turkey and um, the performance as with any game you know in the 80 minutes they play it had some moments of being a little bit worried and a few ups and downs but they collectively held it together and kind of ground out the result and we could have gone ahead we could have scored you know a couple more we had a couple of really good chances in that game um, but that result kind of set the tone, fortunately, and we were always going to have a really tough game against Germany. I mean, you know, everybody was going to be in the same boat there in that group. Um, but it was a great learning curve for them. And what was great about them in that situation was they took on board a lot of the um, the other side to what the German team were doing and thought, wow, they really take it seriously and they're prepared to give up this and this and this. Spoke to a couple of the players and were like, OK, I kind of want to do that now and, and it was a good learning curve for them. Um, then we go into the Latvia game and, and it wasn't our best performance mm. actually out of the three but they did what they needed to do so it was it was good, it was a good result all round, they're ecstatic so. Yeah, I'd better. Yeah. I'd better. <laughs> in you go lads, in the middle! <laughs> So who do you want in the under-17s group? Is there like, uh, teams that you sort of fancy putting out the hat? Or do you know just what? Quite frankly, I, I mean, whoever. <laughs> do you know, right now, I've got to be honest, I've literally come straight off the back of the 19s one, so I haven't thought about it too much. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it, it is what it is when you get to the elite round. Whoever you get is going to be a tough test. It'd be good to get three different teams, so it poses a different challenge, because right now it's it's a learning curve for these girls. and. And it'd be good to have a bit of a, a different kind of aspect to work on and develop and help us to make our point as to what we need to do to keep moving forward, really. So, all right. yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever, whoever, we'll take what we get. Out, <laughs> yeah. right, we'll brilliant. take what we get. Freedom! We love you, coaches! Freedom! We love you, coaches! Freedom! Our coaches! We love you! Full time, they're 2 0 the JD Welsh Cup there between uh, Coldcott and Coman and United. What a game! What a oh, game! It was a really good game. Was a really good game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two 0 two sendings off, and uh, Coldcott through. Fantastic stuff. Should we introduce you, sir? That might be a good yeah, idea. Yeah, my name's uh, my name's Steve Bright. I'm the secretary, well, fixed secretary of the club. I was wondering. I was wondering <laughs> who would suddenly appear between. Suddenly us. appear between us <laughs> like that. Yeah, but uh, but welcome, welcome to each the Put you repeat. Okay, lovely. How did it go today then? Brilliant. Yeah, we did, we've. Uh, we haven't been playing too well recently, so in the league we've had a uh, bad port, uh, run of form recently. Yeah. So that win today was really exceptional and really the lads are really up for it today. So yeah, everyone's pleased the club and we've uh, you've got a good day. Well, you're welcome uh, because um, I've now been to three uh, games in the lower leagues and all three teams have won. So um, yeah. my 100% record continues. Yeah, he is available for bookings I as well. Um, I right, so, so we're signing we up for the next game. Hopefully, we'll get a home draw. <laughs> and we'll go from there. Yeah. yeah, who do you fancy in the next round then? Well, we like a, obviously, you know, through the next round, we, we got, like a Welsh Prem side to come down here. Home draw, obviously, is, is the number one priority for us. If we get a Welsh Prem team down here, it's good for the club, good for the revenue of the club, and, and things like that keep us going. Because mm. essentially, Steve, you're a village club, aren't you? So you've got, you know, so much support. You've got. A quite a small base to go from. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, you know, those stands in the club as well are ethos to try and bring through as many local players in the club as possible. That's that's always number one at the top row list. And we try to try to get feeds from from all the other local clubs to help us do that as well. So we encourage people to join join our club, come to our training sessions. You know, we're the highest ranked team in in the area in this area in, in the sort of lower 
levels, if you like. So, uh, you see a sense of pride when he says yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 so. Understandably yeah, so, yeah. understandably so, yeah. yeah. Um, but, no, beautifully supportive club. Um, always looking for sponsors, by the way, you know, just, just saying, just saying. You know. <laughs> absolutely. Drop yeah. that in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, listen, we also, uh, big international week, Serbia coming up at the weekend. How have you found support for the Welsh national team? Uh, have you sort of noticed what sort of jumping numbers coming along for games here uh, absolutely and like we, yeah, you know, we've, we've had all the games you know, social club we've had all the games on live in the past you know, from the, you know, the point they qualify for the Euros all the Euros during, during, in France in the summer this place was full packed to the rim with, uh, with supporters and everyone gets behind you know, everyone gets behind Wales as well and uh, you know, next week there's no uh, there's no games for us there's all the games in Wales have been uh, you know, cancelled that weekend so most of the Wales can get behind the, the, the Welsh team that includes this club. Mm-hmm. So you'll be doing, you'll have the game on here, you'll have uh, people coming in. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the game on here, we'll have, we've got two big screens, we'll have the game on, we'll have, you know, we put a bit of food on as well for the, for the locals as well. So, you know, the place, place, place will be full. Yeah, absolutely. Great. The place will be full. Prediction? I think I think we'll win 2-1, so let's have a look. Old oh, confidence, like it, <laughs> like it. Good, good man. Goals good from man. Ramsey, I think. He's back, Ramsey's back, and he's so... Let's, let's see. He is, yeah, and Joe Allen as well, playing well in yeah, the absolutely. Moment, so, um, yeah, yeah. Sure. Sorted it, it'll be fine, it'll good. be fine. Steve says it'll be fine. Absolutely, we're going to be fine. <laughs> Yes, it's our regular trawl of the web and all things Welsh footy. And we start with Gareth Bale, scorer of Madrid's fastest goal in the Champions League and showing us that he even practices at home by jumping on his bed. Don't we all, Gareth? I certainly do. Now, spare a thought for poor old Wayne Hennessy standing between the sticks as the days get cold and the nights draw in. But, thankfully, he's sorted at Crystal Palace thanks to a fresh delivery of personalised snoods to keep his ickle neck warm. Very manly they are too, Wayne. Props to Dream Team FC for this beauty showing the exact moment Xavi becomes the Spanish Allen. Well, we all knew that really, didn't we? And a melt your heart moment from Russell Cartwright on Twitter as his daughter decides to practice her writing in the best possible way. And even the man himself was blown away by that. And that's it for Eat Sleep Pudge Repeat this time around. Our thanks to Cold Got Time for a rather splendid afternoon of proper, proper football. Yeah, no, great stuff. Lovely, friendly club, good facilities and really good football. Can't recommend it highly enough, guys. So if you want to watch some Irish football, get yourself along to your local club. Now, obviously, we're in the international window and we're building up to what is going to be a huge, huge game against Serbia this weekend. Pressure's really on, isn't it? It is, yes. We will, of course, bring you all that build-up. So we'll be at the players' training sessions. We'll be talking to them. We'll be talking to Chris Coleman as well and we're going to a party we are we're going to be at the spirit of 58 party in the center of cardiff at the full moon club and it's going to be an absolute barnstormer isn't it it's going to be a barnstormer so uh that's it from us do keep sharing keep liking keep clicking and all that sort of stuff we are nothing without you so uh we look forward to seeing you next time cheers guys